The blood lead test is used to screen for exposure to lead and also indicated for children considered to be at risk from 18 months to six years of age and when your occupation or hobby may expose you or your family to lead when you have symptoms suggesting lead poisoning. The sample required is a blood sample taken from a vein in your arm or by finger stick or heel stick for infants. Lead is a soft metal present in the environment. When it is inhaled or ingested, lead can cause damage to the brain, organs, and nervous system. This test measures the current lead level in the blood. Even at low levels, lead can cause irreversible damage without causing physical symptoms. In an infant, lead can cause permanent cognitive impairment, behavioral disorders, and development delays. Lead can be passed from mothers to their unborn children and can cause miscarriages and premature births. Blood lead tests should be ordered to screen adults in the workplace when lead contamination is a possibility, such as smelter facilities, lead plating, auto repair, and construction. Adults who have hobbies that involve lead-based paints, ceramics, or gasoline also should be tested. The higher the test result, the more lead is in the blood. However, the amount of lead in the blood does not necessarily reflect the total amount of lead in the body. This is because lead travels from the lungs and intestinal tract to the blood and organs, and then is gradually removed from the blood and organs and stored in tissues such as bones and teeth. In pregnant women, lead can pass through the blood to an unborn child. Poisoning with lead is more harmful for children whose brains and other organs are still developing. Adults tend to recover from lead ingestion better than children. Lead interferes with the absorption of iron. Children with raised blood lead concentrations should be tested for iron deficiency.